Hello, Taurus. This is you versus them for the 29th through the 4th. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So we have three cards here, but we'll take them. We have the Chariot. Um, a lot of you moved on past something that you felt like was beneficial for you. Um, this is like, you know, self-discovery, going towards things that make you happy. Okay. Um, but I feel like, you know, there, there's been something that has um, interrupted what you feel like was a successful move for you. And um, something, some idea, um, some move either didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to or um, you guys have had another breakup here okay um, maybe there's some ideas that have shifted in you um, maybe what you moved on from previously there's some revel revel I can't even talk as early guys there's some revelation that you guys have had um, that has basically has you questioning whether or not you made the right decision and there's something that you guys want to um, something that you want to explore something that you want to do here hmm. from my Tarsus Let's see what's going on with the other person over here. What's going on with Taurus's person? Page of Wands. Um, there's something that they're interested in currently. They have their back turn over here, okay? But they are not... Um, hmm. They're approaching it with... Um, they're not trying to like steamroll into anything I feel there's something that they they don't feel so secure about but they're interested in it and um, they're taking steps towards that they're a little they're feeling a little insecure about it though whatever that is okay so let's see what you guys have. I feel like you guys want to approach this person. Both of you are in this energy where um, you, it's like new things that you are interested in, but you're conflicted over it. And you guys probably shared a lot of conflict when you were together here. You're conflicted over this person and what to do. Hmm. Six of Swords. This person wants to move on, and I feel like they they want to they want to date is what I'm getting here, but they're not comfortable with it at this point. They're not comfortable with it at this point, and I'm getting the sense that. Um, they still want to be with you. And I feel like you're wanting to be with them here. You don't know whether or not this person is going to be open to... To getting back together or getting together. But I feel like you're interested in them. And I feel like, you know, this is something either you guys are coming out of another breakup or it's just like this revelation that you guys have had. And it's like, I feel like some of you probably want to make an apology here, but you're conflicted over it. Like, should you do it? Should you go towards this person or should you not? Okay. And then this person over here is really trying to move on, but I think they're trying to, like, they want to start dating someone in order to move on, is what I'm getting here. Okay? 
Hmm. King of Swords. Yeah. It's like, with this person, what I'm getting over here is that they want to move on and they feel like the best way for them to move on is is to get involved with someone else that would be the easiest quickest way to get over whatever hurt you guys share between each other and i feel like they're going back and forth with it because in their in their mind this person's very smart very smart and they're really trying to avoid bringing anyone else into um, this situation okay but they really don't want to feel any emotions about whatever happened between you guys they really just want to move on and so they're they're doing everything that they can to move past whatever has hurt them before I feel like there is someone else that's interested in them as well. I don't know if they're as interested in um, in this fire energy as this individual may be with them. But I feel like um, this person is mature. They're smart. Hmm. They, they just really not want to use any emotion anymore. It's like um, either they are non-emotional in general or this person is just like they're over like love at this point. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys, I think you guys want to reunite here. If this is you on this side, Taurus. Um, this is all about like getting back together, reuniting, being happy together after um, this breakup, after you guys did, tried to move on before. Hmm. Maybe there's an apology need to, that needs to be made here. Yeah, there's somebody that's in your person's energy that has very strong feelings for them. Um, Pisces energy, maybe Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like they, they have very strong feelings for them. But um, I don't think your person knows this, to be honest with you. Whoever this is, I don't feel like this is um, this is nothing serious. This is nothing that is um, already at play. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are just really trying. I think this is all about like reuniting and um, trying to get over whatever has hurt you before whatever conflict i think you want to resolve whatever conflict you guys had before you want to just let it go i feel like you guys want to start over and i feel like there's something that you want to say to this individual but it's like you're not comfortable approaching this subject because you feel like um, maybe this person will turn it down or maybe you know all it's going to do is create um um, an argument or this person is going to be combative with you there's something because you're coming as a page as well and as I put this deck down I see the knight of swords a lot of you guys have some some kind of truth that you want to speak to this person I feel okay Gemini energy there hmm. look at this Wow. I think you guys have some hidden feelings as well. But there's definitely two people here. 
there's two people here for this person um, it's you guys and it's somebody else that um, I feel like will tell them something here and it, I feel like this is somebody that really if you guys if you guys were the ones that um, that left and you feel like you left in a way that you're not that proud of um, I feel like this is all about you guys telling this person how you really felt how maybe you were hurt as well um, if they feel like you guys did something that you really did not do um, like cheated on them or whatever I feel like there's something that you guys want to really say to this person that you want to clear the air is what I'm getting you guys want to clear the air but there's also somebody else here that um, that wants to say something to this person okay you guys may know who this is it's a fire sign here um, maybe Gemini Libra Aquarius energy Piscean energy over here as well okay look at this for you guys this is somebody that um, you feel like is a soulmate you have a very strong connection with them I feel like you think about this person a lot there's something um, that you guys share but I think you know you felt backstabbed you felt very hurt betrayed at one point by this person and I think you know that's probably the reason why you left and you felt like you would be successful elsewhere but there's something that you've come to realize um, about this person, this connection, that's like, I feel like you guys um, are woke or you're waking up and it's like, wait a minute, you know, yeah, we, we've had this conflict. We've been through, you know, a shit storm here, but I still love this person very much. This person is somebody that I feel like, um, you know, is my family here that we can get past this whatever we've been through we can we can get past this and move on we can reunite and be happy a family again here okay hmm. the magician huh This is a very smart individual right here. And I feel like this person, if there's something that um, you guys did not speak to them or if you did say something to them that you didn't mean, I feel like this person feels like they already know the truth. And they feel like they can move on without you speaking anything without anybody saying anything to them without clarification because they feel like they already have the truth they have the confidence to be able to move on without exploring you know any further basically okay let's see we're going to bridge the gap here between the two of you look at that the two of cups You guys love this person. They love you too. And I feel like, you know, you're you're kind of um you're studying it. You're studying it here. You're trying to figure out, you know, how to approach this. There are a lot of secrets here, I feel. A lot of secrets here. I feel like this person's been waiting on you guys. I feel like they've been waiting on you. The Wheel of Fortune here. And the Five of Cups. There's a lot that's not clear for you. 
and for them okay I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling very regretful over this situation and you feel like now at this point you would be successful with this person if you come forward and tell them the truth is what I'm getting here I think you know that you can determine whether or not this person um, will continue with you or pick up and try to rebuild this tower here or move on. I think you guys know that you are the determining factor here. That the only reason why this person is moving on is because there has been no declaration of love here. Things were very unclear, hazy, okay? Hmm. Confusion. I get the sense that this person feels like you guys, um, you chose to move on because you felt like you could find better, that you had options even, okay? So what we have over here on this side is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have Aquarius, um, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy, Piscean energy here, okay? Gemini, Libra, even. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you. So, you know, to wrap this up, what I see here, you guys pick a side because it can go vice versa, all right? Whoever's on this side left a situation that they felt like, um, you know, was not serving them. They were going towards things that they felt like were better for them, okay? But in leaving, this person realizes that, hey, wait a minute, you know, did I make the right decision because I feel like this person is the love of my life? Um, this is my family, I want to reunite. I want to make this better. I want to put whatever differences we had to bed. This person over here does not know that. This person is trying to move on. And in moving on, they're really kind of closing themselves off to whatever love you guys share. But in doing that, there's, there's somebody else in their midst as well as interested in them. Okay? This person at this point feels like if there was something that was kind of foggy between the two of you, like they don't need they don't need to hear anything from you because they already know the truth. They're confident that they can move on without, you know, hearing facts, okay? So, that's the bottom line here, guys, okay? So you guys pick a side and I will be speaking with you soon.